Well, welcome all. A few weeks ago, uh, I presented some changes to my uh, run and gun rig uh, with the audio I set up, um, as I've got it presented at the moment. But uh, a week or so after that, I started looking at a slightly different way of carrying the camera rather than with the handle that I generally had on the top there. And uh, I come up with a bit of an idea that uh, actually ended up working extremely well. The uh, video that I posted uh, last week um, was shot all handheld with this new little handle setup that I've got and uh, the vibrations and so on were actually fairly minimal. Where there was movement was generally when I was talking holding the, and holding the camera but uh, if I was just holding the camera and not speaking I was getting some fairly uh, stable uh, images out of the whole thing so I was quite impressed with it and what I've done is installed a side handle in a slightly different way to what you traditionally see. What I've done there is uh, it's a normal uh, top handle with uh, screw mounting uh, base on it attached to a 150mm NATO rail and that NATO rail clamps onto a, or clamps onto a NATO clamp that's attached to uh, my Arca Swiss plate under the bottom of the camera which I've shown before and it ended up being uh, quite a stable and a lot more stable than this dog at the moment but uh, a very stable uh, sort of way of holding the camera and I'll give you some close-up shots shortly but what it is it uh, goes out to the side in that fashion and I can connect and disconnect the uh, the handle quite easily off the NATO uh, quick uh, uh, release clamp to put it on a gimbal or whatever but uh, as a means of holding the camera this comes up uh, an absolute treat. Uh, I was very surprised at how well it works. I've got my little remote attached to the front, did a bit of mod modification there to uh, enable that to work. But um, it's uh, a very solid and strong way of carrying the camera. It actually makes it much easier to lug around. I can hold it in different uh, ways and I can hold it up or down low and it uh, gives a very balanced uh, sort of an image to it. If you have a look at the uh, video from last week of our little uh, trip in the mountains, you'll get some examples of uh, how that was done. It was all handheld. Even somewhere I was walking uh, appeared to be uh, reasonably good um, compared to uh, my previous uh, attempts. So this is just something I thought I'd uh, show. Um, you can do it very easily with a NATO rail and uh, clamp attached to an Arca Swiss like I have. Uh, or if you use the 15mm rail system, you can do it as well. It's probably going to be a little bit more bulky, uh, but should work just as well. So it's just an alternative way of uh, putting on a side handle than the usual traditional ones which people uh, uh, attach to the actual sides of the camera itself and uh, creating what I would consider a, a sort of fairly heavy, uh, front heavy um, camera if you're using uh, big lenses like I have. Whereas this uh, is a dual handle uh, now holding it with one hand on the side, one underneath and it gives great stability especially when you bring the camera close. Uh, you can look down a bit like the old medium format camera days and uh, get some really really good uh, stability out of the uh, the unit itself. So I'll be trying this a uh, little bit more uh, over the next uh, few months and so on to see if there's any major uh, uh, failings in it but uh, the short uh, trip that I did and the video that I took I'm actually quite pleased with how it turned out. And it was a very simple and uh, inexpensive uh, modification so anybody who's sort of contemplating something like that you might give it a try. Uh, it's not uh, money wasted and uh, you might be pleasantly surprised at the outcomes. So I'll show you some of the close-ups now and uh, that's uh, basically what I want to show uh, uh, about this week's uh, video, so cheers.